It's been an exciting few weeks for SpaceX from concluding its Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission, a successful Starik fire and a 150 meter hop for the Starship SN5, and finally just a few days ago they launched their 10th Starlink mission, launching 57 starting satellites and 2 for Black Sky. Like the title says, we'll check out the updates we have regarding Starlink and see all these exciting things happening for SpaceX. I'm Lawrence and you're watching FLG TV. What is up guys, welcome back to another FLG TV video, bringing in the latest in tech, in gear, and anything else in between. If you are new to this channel and enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss out. Now on August 7, 2020, which is just yesterday by the time of filming this video, which will be a couple days ago for you guys, but that really depends on when I upload or when you guys find this video. But anyways, on August 7, 1, 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, SpaceX finally launched its 10th Starlink mission from the Kennedy Space Center after suffering countless delays. I think the original launch date was way back in June and has been pushed back countless of times. Well, finally, on August 7, SpaceX finally launched the Falcon 9 rocket carrying 57 satellites and two from Black Sky Global, hitching a ride. That brings a total of the Starlink satellites deployed to 597. Beta testing is also underway for Starlink and users on Reddit already are sharing their internet speed test results, with most beta testers getting speeds around 20 to 60 megabits per second download and around 10 megabytes per second upload. With those speeds right now, SpaceX still plans to hit 1 gigabit per second per user. In its application to the FCC, SpaceX stated that once fully optimized through the final deployment, the system will be able to provide high bandwidth up to 1 gigabit per second per user, low latency, broadband services for consumers and businesses in the US and globally. With the goal of eventually having over 4,000 satellites deployed, SpaceX has upped its production and now manufacturing over 120 Starlink satellites per month. SpaceX also seeks to increase the number of authorized user terminals in the US from 1 million to 5 million. And all of that because nearly 700,000 people signed up for its service on its website in just a matter of days. But all of that though, soon SpaceX will have its competition from Amazon. After receiving FCC authorization for its own satellite internet network, Amazon plans to invest over $10 billion on its project. Well, that's all the quick updates I had for you for SpaceX and Starlink. Make sure to subscribe if you want to follow the developments of Starlink with me and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Once again, I'm Lawrence, you're watching FLG TV, see you in the next video.